Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday the 11th of March. So uh, we start the day with some uh, in, another interest rate cut announced there by the uh, Bank of England, cutting by half a percent to oh, oh, just a quarter of a percent. So, uh, and a, a number of other measures announced at the same time there, new SME uh, lending scheme, um, which could be about 100 billion, which uh, may uh, help provide some sort of support and uh, stimulus to the uh, markets there so we'll, we'll see but uh, for now let's have a look at what's happening technically and the euro dollar well yesterday sold right off it came short of running down to the uh, monthly pivot may still get there uh, looking through this uh, at this price action at the moment it's still uh, we had an overnight rally there but uh, it's uh, bear flaggy, sort of in lower highs, lower lows, still coming through. We'll just see how we end up on the end of this 60 minute bar. And we could well be uh, looking for uh, further downside. We'll see. But um, I'm oh, sorry, I'll come right the way down to a five minute there for just to really look at the price action here consolidation, breakdown. Um, it does look uh, quite weak sitting there. Um, just looking at the order book actually as I speak there's nothing uh, I'll just flash this on here just to show you um, there, there's there's plenty of positive potential above where we're sitting uh, on the euro which I'm aware of if it was to get a bit of rally we've got this sort of net buy orders so uh, the, the significant net buy orders up there we could see could see price if it don't, was to rally run into that but at the moment it's looking pretty um, pretty soft here as I say technically in the short term but as I say, all things could change. We'll watch it this morning, but if it starts breaking, uh, maybe above that 1350 area, maybe a bit more, um, could be looking on that long side to try and track some of that potential move there from the order flow. Okay, there's a the euro. Anyway, let's get back and uh, let's back, back proper time flame there, uh, flame frame. If only I could speak. So um, the pound. Well, yesterday saw it. It, it sold off. Uh, more significantly for quite a bit of time than the euro there it's uh, uh, quite a significant um, sell-off there through the uh, afternoon particularly um, f had a sort of a, a surprise well, I said the surprise hit the market it sold quite quickly but it's had uh, almost immediate bounce back from that what's it going to do today now well it's a difficult bar at the moment maybe if it starts if we see the euro pushing up we may see uh, this do similar. I couldn't see anything significant. Uh, let's just quick look here, quickly order book there. It, it's really being backfilled here. You can see the the this net sell order sitting right above price here. Um, the, the, there are points of uh, net buy orders which uh, may give it a, enough momentum uh, to see the price push up. Uh, it may just push up from there, but. Uh, um, you and you and there are the, obviously the buy orders. I say obviously, but it's quite happen. Often that happens. You get the net buy orders sitting above at the more recent high there. But uh, maybe if it, if, it, if these markets can get a little bit of a reversal, then it may they may get enough momentum to push uh, back to the upside there. We'll see. But for now, um, looking decidedly uh, well, bearishish. Lower highs, lower lows. Could, could well be looking at a reversal bar here. Let's have a look. Argue, people argue there's divergence there, and it's a bit weird with the price action. So, anyway, um, I have to watch that carefully this morning. I think the euro is a bit simpler. Um, the dollar yen, uh, so again, complete reversal, cl close that gap up, etc. Yesterday, uh, today it's pulled off a little bit, but. Uh, We'll see how this continues. Weekly pivot still above, and this is why I really and the, with the um, with the euro, the weekly pivots below, and it just it makes me wonder if we'll just see a bit more of a retrace back to these as targets. Now, um, at the moment, this is looking higher lows, higher highs. Dollar yen looks bullish at the moment, and it's sort of putting this shape in here, which uh, may see a continuation through this morning. Got to be careful, as I said, often around about eight o'clock, all things change. It, it looks like it's going to push up at this stage. Looks quite good for its um, um, to, uh, 60 minute 200. The weekly pivots up there. 
Um, there's another pivot hide near the R1 behind his hiding behind there as well. Daily R1 might be enough just just as a draw up there. But uh, tread carefully as we go into eight o'clock and beyond. Um, Aussie dollar, as you can see, at 16 minutes it fell off sleep a little bit, spike in the uh, price action a couple of days ago. There, sold off again yesterday. Um, it's it's looking softish, still bear flaggy sort of pattern on this four hourly at the stage. Uh, and again, it's worth, worth waiting a break of the the low of this sort of the trend that runs across there. Break of that could see it running down towards that S1, maybe more. Okay, Aussie uh, Canadian dollar, Canadian dollar. Well, another or producing country and uh, struggling. Um, it's not not survived, not survived, not <laughs> not got over the uh, oil price cuts here, and it's hanging in up there at the moment. Um, until oil starts uh, changing direction a bit, I think we're a little bit stuck with this uh, Canadian dollar potential further upside. Really, it still looks um, a high lows coming through there. Very bitty and messy. It's starting to get on this 60-minute candle, uh, candle 60-minute chart. Um, maybe, maybe now it's starting to look a little bit uh, firmer. Let's have a quick look at oil. Um, so Western Texas, oh yeah, it's come off a little bit again. It was plodding, it's plodding its way up, it's rolling back, but maybe just to that daily pivot, it may get some support and push push back up there. Um, it's a, almost an artificially low price here. There's production costs and a lot of, a lot of producers uh, are going to be struggling at this $34 barrel. So uh, I, I think it won't take too long uh, for things to change here. Anyway, there we are. I think that's pretty much it for today. And in terms of uh, news today, uh, coming uh, expected news to come in out. We've uh, so say we've already had the uh, Bank of England meeting, or ex extraordinary meeting there. Uh, clear nine votes to uh, do something there uh, to nil. Um, so that's done that. Uh, beyond that, we've got GDP data coming out. This is the monthly GDP coming out at 9.30. We'll just see what the effects of these things are, see if there's been much effect on the economy. Um, we're still seeing a bit of volatility around that monthly figure. Um, annual budget release, of course, in the UK uh, this morning leading into this afternoon. It's got down at 11.30 here. Um, so we'll, we'll see what goes on there, see how the market's uh, like that. Maybe worth steering, the, I don't know, maybe the, the, maybe sufficient um, joy within that budget to uh, create some um, uh, positive movement for the pound, but uh, maybe worth trading it afterwards. Side of that, um, uh, US inflation data due out at 12.30. So uh, that's where we stand. Um, have a great day. Bye for now. Thank you.